Okay, Google, play my morning playlist. Okay, Big Wood. I got that everywhere. It's all over the monitor. Good freaking morning! What a morning! Oh, what is what is going on at Nintendo HQ lately? Can we take a second? Can we take a can we take a, at least ten minutes? Well, eight minutes now. You can put mid mid rolls on eight minutes. Hey, uh, we we had. A whole Mario, sorry, I'm screaming at 10 a.m. in the morning. I, I I have never been this awake at 10 a.m. in the morning. We had a whole Mario Direct the other day full of really cool Mario announcements and then I woke up today to another, what is Nintendo doing? They, I, I don't I don't understand Nintendo's game plan. Like how, they, they have all these Directs now. They have the normal Nintendo Directs, they have the themed Nintendo Directs like the Mario one, they have Direct Mini, they have Direct Part the showcase they have direct freaking uh, indie showcase like there's so many but then sometimes they decide oh well we'll just drop a trailer instead ah oh. oh. <laughs> uh all right fine i haven't watched this yet i'm gonna watch it with you apparently it's a new zelda and all i know about it is it's uh, supposed to be a prequel what is going- Here I am, Muggins here, waiting for Breath of the Wild 2, just some sort of announcement on a release window, and, and instead I find out about a whole new one. Alright. <laughs> let's- let's shut up and watch it. Hello everyone, I'm Eiji Aonuma, the producer of the Legend of Zelda series. In 2019, Nintendo Direct presentation that we had started development on the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yes, you did! Regarding the sequel, in order to make the vast world you enjoyed exploring in the original game even more impressive, the team is working hard on its development. So you'll have to wait a bit longer before okay. we can provide okay. more updates. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, what do you got today though? We've mm -hmm. prepared a different way for you to experience the world of Hyrule, and we have a video to introduce it. Please take a look. So confused as to what this could be then. 100 years ago. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> That was a lot. That looked like Hyrule Warriors. That... Is it Hyrule Warriors? This isn't... Zelda Zelda, is it? Is this... Is this a... Is this a Hyrule Warriors? But like... They've taken the story of Breath of the Wild. They've made a prequel to that story. In the universe of Hyrule Warriors. That's my guess. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly what I expected, but I I'm still I'm still happy. I have a lot of thoughts Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. All right, okay. But the actual event itself wasn't shown in full. It was not. In this game, you'll be able to experience well, that, the event. It does make sense. Calamity. Because it is a big battle. So now, and the best way to take part in that big battle is gameplay like the Hyrule Warriors. And it makes a lot of sense. It does. Hello, everyone. Hi. What do you think? How do they keep stuff the like this secret? It looks uh, it looks exactly like Breath of the Wild. Gameplay style of the Warriors series. I'm intrigued if it has any open world one elements one to it at all. On November 20th. How do they do this? How do they keep it secret? They're so good. They're so good at surprising us. Their whole company is about fun. And even the way they announce things is so fun. The way that they keep it secret and then just release it within months of letting you like <sighs> Nintendo. <sighs> I am so baffled about this game. I'm so baffled. It looks like it it just looks like Breath of the Wild. It looks exactly like Breath of the Wild, but the gameplay is from Hyrule Warriors. Does that mean they have taken the existing Breath of the Wild game and just added in this story and, and change the gameplay? Can can you still explore? It's 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 I I, I need a I need a I need a second opinion. 
Do you think this is an open world game? No. Did you, did you not play the other Hyrule? No, I did. It's just the way they were talking. That's what baffled me because they were like, it, it just seemed, no. the way they were talking just seemed like it's a little more fleshed out than their usual Warriors games. No, it definitely is. Looking at Hyrule Warriors, looking at Fire Emblem Warriors, those are just collections of those franchises put into a game. And you had different areas, different characters from various games in those franchises whereas this is very very streamlined and he said in the video essentially that um the original hyrule warriors was just nintendo giving them the zelda ip and being like okay go wild with it whereas nintendo is working with them on this game because it's much more streamlined what's the little egg thing the ladle i don't know i just noticed there's like a weird little egg at the bottom of the screen all right i'm gonna keep making my video all right bye. okay <laughs> I have watched and rewatched this trailer a few times now. I can't believe this drops November 20. That's the first thing I want to say. I can't believe there is a whole Zelda game ready to go in a couple of months and we knew nothing about it. That is so cool. I, I'm just happy because the end of this year is finally starting to look good. There's a really cool game coming that I can't talk about yet, but you'll find out in a couple of days. There's a new Zelda game. There's uh, the, the Mario All-Stars pack like in 10 days. It feels like we're finally getting back on track with some cool things releasing. And the new consoles. Like the end of this year is actually shaping up to be pretty cool. I have watched this through so many times and th this, is, this is what this game is, okay? I think, I hope. It's a Hyrule War. It's a new Hyrule Warriors game, clearly, but they worked so closely with Nintendo to make it look exactly like it fits into the Breath of the Wild universe. It's streamlined over the previous Hyrule Warrior games. Like in those games, there's like a billion different playable characters, and there's so much going on. It's all about option and choice, and, and how crazy, how many throwbacks can we cram into this game to previous Zeldas? That's not here. They've just focused on the main core characters of the champions, and then Link and Zelda, and, and may, I don't, I don't know, maybe a couple of more. But they've just focused on a few characters fleshed those out, but it's all based around that Calamity War that is referenced and talked about and you get a couple flashbacks of during the Breath of the Wild, the original game, but you actually get to be there and take part in it. And it's, it's a really good idea because it was such a big war that while playing Breath of the Wild, you see the remnants of everywhere, you see those fallen guardians, you see the, the, the soldiers lying but you only ever get tiny snippets and you only really ever get the gist of what happened. There is so much you could flesh out. It, it's a perfect idea. I, I, Breath of the Wild, I adore it, but it's not the kind of gameplay that lends well to facing a thousand enemies at once. We've seen a lot of games mash the Zelda franchise, the Zelda IP, and they kind of do their own thing with it. They borrow from the universe, but they don't really ever directly tie into a Zelda game. Like, we've even seen, we, we like the Hyrule Warriors before, it didn't tie into anything, it was just a fun Easter egg game kind of thing. But this is, it's its part of it, which is really cool. I'm not gonna lie, when I woke up and I heard prequel to Breath of the Wild, I was really excited because I assumed, I assumed Nintendo was taking a while on the sequel, so they threw together a story and, and kind of would have, maybe they, maybe they were adding it to DLC to the, the base game. Which, you know, I would have I would have liked that, but now that I really think about it, I mean, how much content would be there? A couple hours, a few hours, just to tie us over a story in a game that we already had. But this is a whole new game. Hours and hours and hours in a whole new game telling the complete story of the Calamity War. Uh, if anything, my excitement, which initially was like, oh, is now, oh! Oh, yeah, that actually that makes a lot more sense. All right, cool. That was a really cool thing to wake up to this morning. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, one, one final thing. Again, this game, like so many other games we're seeing lately, would be perfect for me to play on Twitch. And I got good news. I just made uh, an actual Twitch schedule. Uh, if you don't know, uh, I'm on Twitch and I'm taking it as seriously as I take YouTube. I upload to YouTube as much as I can, and I stream on Twitch as much as I can, and I finally have a Twitch schedule. We go live Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and this week alone is action-packed. Tonight, as you're watching this, I'm playing Minecraft Dungeons, the new DLC that releases today with Austin John Plays. So come over, you know. 
Have a good time. Party on down. <laughs> oh, man. My heart can't take all of this. There's so many cool things going on, and I can't wait till the end of this year. And uh, there's even more cool things happening in a couple of days. I have another video coming out on the 10th. So uh, come back for that. Especially um, if, you like, if you like Breath of the Wild. And you like cool announcements? Come back to my channel on the 10th in two days. All right, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.